Okay, you're deciding what scopes to use when you're registering your services. Now, this is more of a design topic than a practical code topic, and you'll see why a little later, but let's imagine we have two services. Now, we'll register each as their name implies, so subscriber singleton service will be a singleton, and like and comment scoped service will be a scoped service. Next, we'll update that subscriber singleton service to receive a like and comment scoped service into its constructor. Now, this is bad juju. Why? because a singleton service's life cycle is the entire application's life cycle, whereas a scoped service has a life cycle of the request or a unit of work. That means if we inject a service into another service that has a longer life cycle, we're essentially upsizing the life cycle of the injected service. So when the application starts and it spins up that subscriber singleton service, it's injecting in a like and comment scoped service with no user information. There is no request. And the really bad part of this is, when a request actually comes in, if we try to use that singleton service, well, that like and comment scope service still doesn't have a user. That thing was instantiated before a request ever existed. So why is this more of a design topic than a practical code topic? Because Microsoft thought of this already. They actually blocked that behavior at build time. Now, when I try to compile this code, they're gonna give me an invalid operation exception, basically telling me that, hey, I can't consume scoped or transient services in this singleton service. In fact, the same error would occur if you tried to inject a transient service into a scoped or singleton. So it's interesting. Your code will actually allow you to write that and not give you any of the red squigglies, but the compile time will stop you. So just keep that in mind mind when you're designing those services in their life cycles so you don't catch yourself having to go back and refactor code that you thought was going to be okay.